introducing White Teeth, the novel by Zadi Smith. The slides I have taken from internet, so that is why I use the word edited. It's, these are not mine. However, the speech is mine and the interpretation is mine. Let's go to the next one and see how we can enjoy this video. Zadie Smith, as it is being told to us, that she was a novelist and she was born in North London in 1975. And her parents were different of stock. For example, she had an English father and the Jamaican mother. And she has been studying at Cambridge and graduated in 1997. When she was just uh, in her mid-teens, she changed her name from Sadie to Zeti. Not a big difference, but the sound za only has been added possibly to give a clear sound to her name that is Zeddy. So Zeddy Smith's novel White Teeth is under discussion. Zeddy Smith made an astonishing literary debut with this novel White Teeth in 2000. She became very famous because of this novel especially in 1997 when this novel she was still writing she got a type of stipend or scholarship or one can say grant in order to write this novel complete this novel and also to start another novel also so in that way she got the publicity she got the fame and she wrote that novel white teeth which is a very impressive in its fluidity and scope smith has given a very naive product a very good kind of story which is done at the hands of a person who is very much young but whatever the case may be it's a masterpiece Zadi Smith wrote White Teeth, which is a whirlwind exploration of immigration and multiculturalism and its effects upon the people. And the way these cultural events ripple out from individuals into all of London life. The story of this novel begins when the World War II ends. Just before that, the millennial are going to start. So that is why it ranges almost 50 years. In telling the story of the birth of modern London, the book weaves together the lives of Archie and Samad, the two persons, the two protagonists, and unlike the pair of friends whose friendship is founded on shared experiences in the closing days of the war. Though these men, their wives and their children, Smith illustrates the uh, struggles that have been involved in English society's evolution into what it's today, Zeddy Smith tells the story of the century of strangers, brown, yellow, and white. The century of the great immigrant experiment. So that is the story of uh, this novel. As it was written in 1960, so it is good to have a view of the English culture of that time. Although the England or the United Kingdom had broken and it was just a small country now, but it was having a very good affluent nation and was enjoying fashion, music and cultural trendsetters in the post-colonial era. So that is why it was good to know and we know that in this area we know the groups of musicians, long list is there, the Beatles, the Jerry's, the Spencer Davis Group, the Rolling Stone, the Who and Led Zeppelin. These groups were there and that goes to show the prosperity the player, the good affluent life of the English people after 1960. In the 1970 also, English culture was having some problems because of the energy crisis, labor strikes, violent conflicts with Ireland and declining standards of living in 1970. One reaction was the ugly street level subculture of the punk, a reaction to the economic troubles of the younger generation. So in such an era, this novel traces the story and the trajectory of migrants, immigration, their problems and their consequences from 1950 up to 2000. In the 1980s, which is the era of, uh, you know, Iron Lady, that is the Margaret Theatre, economic recovery was slow, but it was taking place. The country still was divided into different conflicts, which was between the conservatives and traditional England and the new vibrant subculture of the new wave and metal. Immigration was also making the country more ethnically diverse. So there are uh, two divergent, different from each other, distinct kind of tendencies under which the age was rip 
One part in the beginning was happy, jovial, enjoying. Other part was full of conflicts and problems. However, the economy was also being revived some, somehow or the other, but still the problems existed. In such a situation, the story of England of the migrant has been traced by Zeddy Smith in her novel White Teeth. The 1990s have not been left also. It was called Cool Britannia Movement in 1990s with bands like Oasis, The Spice Girls and Robbie Williams. The 1990s were less economically or culturally eventful, though the country continued to become more multicultural through immigration. And after that, let us see what the story of the novel is. And this part of the story is generated by AI and that you are going to watch now. So this first part. After the summary, let's have a view of the characters. That is, number one, Archie Jones. Archie Jones is practical rather than an intellectual man, a follower rather than a leader. He's quite a modern person, therefore, having no concern with intellectuality or other things, but rather being a practical person. Samad Iqbal is another character whose hand was crippled by friendly fire in the military, is disappointed the war afforded him no opportunity to live up to the legacy of his hero, his ancestor Mangal Pande, and you can see that these two people were friends because of the war happenings. Clara Jones is the next one, she's Archie Jones' second wife. Uh, a tall, beautiful Jamaican woman who wears false teeth, having lost her top teeth in a motorcycle accident when she was a teenager. Same is the case with Alsana Iqbal, a member of the prominent Bengali family. Alsana Iqbal is an arranged marriage with her husband, Samad, and immigrates to England with him in 1973. Majid Iqbal, when Majid is a preteen, his father sends him to rural Bangladesh, hoping to provide him with an upgrade free of the corrupting influence of Western culture. So Majid undergoes the usual traditional style of the parents in England. They send back their children in order to get a good training, supposedly according to them, but it's altogether ironic. Milat Iqbal, regarded by his family as the troublesome son, struggles with anger, identity issues, and feelings of being alienated from and rejected by dominant British society. So Majid has a different problem of life. Millet, his brother, has, again, a very different problems of his life. Ari Jones. As a teenager, Ari Jones struggles with self-hatred brought on by the realization that her Jamaican features don't conform to British standards of beauty. So she is just like the... Uh, girl in the in the novel uh, The Bilious Tie uh, by Toni Morrison that she also don't, doesn't like her features or appearance. Same as the case with Ivy Jones, but still she's living in that society and plays a very important and significant role. There are some themes also in the novel. One is that of the roots. Root symbolizes the intricate relationship between the past and the present. So it's a time connecting device that the roots connect the past with the present. Coin toss. Archie Jones is trouble making decisions, so he continually defers even his most important decision to chance by allowing them to be decided by coin toss. So coin toss is used as a type of symbol. Future Mouse. Future Mouse is the outcome of the scientist Marcus Chaffin's work with genetics. Teeth, teeth the novel's titular symbol, symbolizes the power of identity. Twins. Twin symbolize the unpredictable, paradoxical, and often contradictory outcomes of the interaction between the forces of nature and nurture. So in that way, twins also suffer uh, serve as a kind of theme in this novel. So that's all about this. Hopefully you might have got some information and knowledge. Do read the other sources and enjoy all that. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you in some next video.